inside a Cadillac Smack, smack down on the bass track Slide, play shy Cause you're a black night Sunday broken heart Early Monday when you leave me for the other Hello, welcome to Healthy Body by Sophie So we're gonna try and do something short and sweet Just to get us moving So let's get started I'm gonna start the music again as it just popped up here. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this is just gonna be something to get us uh, energized, working a little bit of abs, cardio, warming up through the body, and uh, let's have fun. All right. Let's start moving side to side with the music whenever it wants to start. There we go. Just side to side. Do a, a two step with your foot. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then alternate your arms. Getting those biceps warmed up as you bend your elbows and then the rotation of your body. And then you're gonna reach up. Ready? Go. Keep sh shaking those hips. Go faster. Here, reach across. We're gonna go for our hand and cross. So keep going side to side with your legs. And arm face up, open. And of course your body across and out. Across and out. Across, out. Across, out. You can follow with your head and follow your hand or just keep staring in front of you if you prefer. And let's reach down lower now. So thighs moving. And breathe. And flex your hands. Okay, we're going up, up, up. Let's just do the legs. Now we're gonna flex with your feet. Go as high as you can, comfortably, and keep your hands on your thighs, just gently. Stay support. And if you can take a step further, we're gonna reach and roll our arms. Ready, set, go. And switch. One. One. One, two, three, four. Wait for the next music. We're gonna keep going. Okay, up. And as you bring your knee up, reach a bit lower and slow down this movement. And let your hands relax, not touching your thighs. Now we're gonna take it slower.
get this with some speed. I'm gonna yeah, add up all the dimensions or the planes as we call it of the body moving, twisting and doing different things so as soon as you add one thing it feels too much then just step down and don't do it so here we're going to go across and back down across and down across your body and down and keeping your arms out like this allows you to keep the gear better balance. That's why use your arms as much as you can. So this is just simply moving across with your arms. They kind of keep almost the same distance apart at the horizontal level. We're breaking it down, going slower. It's the same movement, or very similar to what we did earlier with the first music. Hold this. And down. Hold it. You can have one side that's more challenging. And trap those abs and hold it. And down. Up. Hold, trap those abs. Stabilize your body on the one leg. That's the support leg. And down. Good. Now reach up. Use the one leg. Up. And down. Everything down. Just your wrists and fingers are up. Straight up and down. Whoop. And up. That's why you go slow. That allows you to work on your balance. And switch. And stretch up to the ceiling so now your hands are straight, your wrists are not bent. Bend or extend actually your wrist and up. Okay. Now we're gonna work more the back and get those hamstrings. So I'm gonna go sideways. You can see my hamstrings, and you're gonna go in this motion just to get them engaging here. Okay. I'm gonna go back facing you. So again, let's just warm up like we did earlier where your legs are pointing more forward, like here, instead like a crunch, you know, contracting all of this. Now it's the back. So keep that belly in as you bring your heel toward your buttocks and your gluteal muscles. Keep that tummy slightly engaged. That's what's going to help protect your back so that your glute muscles engage, your hamstrings as well. And it's, you'll have your better posture in your body. Just go slow. Oh. And down. Switch. And down. Switch. Keep your hands on your hips. And down. Switch. And down. Switch. Hands on your hips still. Keep that knee slightly bent, the leg that's on the floor, or the foot that's on the floor. Slightly bent allows you to engage again all of these muscles. Plus you're not putting stress on your knee. It's not hyperextended. Okay, so we're gonna twist again. And reach the hand on the knee and back down. And switch. Front arm reaches the knee and back down and up. So you don't have to be this high, you can't reach this high, you have to balance. Just stay here, okay? Here is fine. Go 
work with what you have and let's add if you have not flexing that foot as you reach across so here I have my hip more re internally rotated I'm not here internally rotated and switch feel a bit of a burn in your glutes in your thighs that's normal you have to because you're in that position it's like if you're skiing you're in that bent position remember if you do ski uh, especially with a downhill ski for this I would say when you've not skied in a little while in a long while uh, those calf muscles <laughs> get really sore that Achilles tendon that's because you're in that position you know when you're skiing or even in sports country I guess all right Stretch your arms as far as you can, forward and back, and then make contact here. Head straight, so don't bring your head up. Slight chin tuck, as I've explained chin tuck in some of my neck videos about stretching. This slight chin down and across. great for balance, it's great for runners or to work on their balance. You want to add more resistance. I don't have them here to show you actually. They used to be behind me here. Uh, there are little platforms. Uh, one has actually air inside so it's uh, more advanced and it's thicker. Uh, the other ones are just foam, have different degree of intensity of the foam. All right now let's switch legs side to side so if you can do um, so you know my point was going with those little steps those little platform you can use them to do all of these exercises that I was doing and that I'm still doing but well, maybe not this one so here I'm doing a little bit of a hop yet it's very low impact you want to make it high impact go ahead make it high impact like this, we do a hop side to side. I'm gonna keep it low impact and push down, push, push down. Use your hand here and down. Down, 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 down. So it's working your arms at the same time. Chin down. Pick up the speed. It's good for your calves. neutral okay we're gonna cross here okay we're gonna slow it down so we're stretching here when I'm here I'm stretching here because I'm turning my body this way so I'm giving a little stretch here here and then one arm goes back so if you have a bit of an issue with your rotator cuff here and uh, pain here, make sure your thumb is pointing up, okay? And that's gonna help, as opposed to uh, having your thumbs this way, okay? And drop your arms down as you cross and go low. Okay, and we're gonna slow it down and heal. So if we 
bringing the heel to the floor is uh, causes you to lose too much balance and um, this is not really putting too much force on your heel so it should be fine but keep in mind that this uh, what's behind your foot so the bottom of your foot that gets um, related to your spine so if you do too much movement where your heels get high impact from moving walking on it and putting pressure too long or at all sometimes you may feel some tightness and soreness in your back the next day or thereafter okay down down your heel like this heel on the floor here might go up a bit that's okay the idea is to stretch so you're kind of floating on an unmarked flat foot but not quite and you're working abs here believe it or not it's the same thing as you would do if you was laying down on the floor doing those leg raises but I'm doing it standing. I keep looking in front of me, so I'm getting a twist in the spine, which is so great. Flush the spine. Getting warm. It's warm in here. It's like 73 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, so it's a bit warm. <laughs> now it feels warm. Drop those arms down so those triceps are reaching down toward your thigh and do your, do your hips. Good. So make sure you keep your neck straight. Chin slightly down and pull the shoulder blades apart this way away from each other, okay? That's gonna allow you to keep nice and tall through your entire spine. Okay, and you're getting a bit of a stretch in your hamstring as you do this. So if it is too high, stay here. That's still okay. You don't have to be up here. Just I need you to bend that knee anyway. So because eventually you're gonna to do that pike on the floor, right? That's a progression. All right. Whew. Let's shake that. shoulders up and down. We're gonna put one leg in front of the other but hold that. Okay? And we're just gonna move back and forth. So you point twins one leg at a time and whichever leg points your arms go the opposite direction. It doesn't really matter whether which leg you're using. If you can mirror me, go ahead. I think that's the easiest way. Try and keep your feet pointing forward. There's a reason for it. As we go on with our life, we tend to let go of those hips and too often they end up externally rotated, which causes so many issues and I believe uh, strongly that it contributes to, not exclusively, but it definitely contributes to, I'm losing my balance as I'm talking to you, the coordination, there we go. Um, it's contributing quite a lot to knee and hip surgeries, even ankle issues, but hip and knee replacement too. So that's one of my goals to help people to learn to properly walk again because we tend to forget you know, I'm gonna switch, okay? So I didn't move where my legs were I just pivoted my body from left where I was to the right so for you it might be from right to left and do the same, so point forward point with the leg forward and when you point with the leg forward your arms go back and try and get that hip engaged here in the back so that 
you hurt is more forward as opposed to out. You know, sometimes it's okay, we can't be, you know, prepare our position all the time, but we need to try to engage it and target it uh, often. Okay, let's continue with your arms. We're gonna have the flex. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now switch. Now repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're gonna add the bend and lift. Uh, we're gonna reach lower, okay? So point forward and down. Down. Keep your body as straight as possible. So it's gonna make you use your knees. If you have issues with your knees, I do, but I work on it and I take care of it. So as you step back, so you push your body back. Um, here you have your arms back and you push your arms forward as you step back. Yeah? And there you go. Down, up, down, push up, down, push up, back, down. Down, your arms are behind you. Push up, your arms are in front of you. Go down, your arms are back. Push up, back, your arms are in front. As a general rule of thumb, uh, try to, wherever your body goes, make your arms go the opposite. If you, I'm not great in science, but I understand the basic, because that's what my body wants to do to stay in balance. You use your upper body, lower body, left and right. All of those planes I've talked about, to your advantage to work with Mother Nature on this planet and taking into consideration what gravity does to our body. Okay, now switch because now as you feel the heel, which is good, but let's switch. All right, same thing. So we're just gonna do this for now. Get those hips forward, straight. We're just gonna do wrists forward. Or flex, you extend in the rest, you pull them towards you. Alright, now we're gonna add the bending down. Now, this side might not be as easy for me, balance wise, and also strength wise, probably, as this is uh, not my takeoff leg. Is it? Okay, down, up, down. We're going to do the opposite. I'm going to go down and put our arms back. And it's going to prevent us from falling forward. If bringing your arms back like this hurts, then instead of having the palm of your hand this way, turn it the other way, or thumbs in front of you, okay? Thumb is in front of you is a good compromise. So I am not going as low on this side right now. For the simple reason that this thigh is not as strong, first of all, and this calf of mine is actually tighter. Um, plus, lately this knee is the one that has been, um, when I kneel down, it hurts when I put pressure on it. So I'm working on it. So you don't want to do too much, but enough to get it in shape and loosen up the tissues around while still working on strength. I've been working on that and that's probably why it's woken up. I'll do that one move actually in the next video. That's probably triggered that, but it's okay. You just take baby step. All right. So as you can see, I didn't go as advanced as I did with my left side, but that's okay. All right. All 
Okay, so we're gonna just do that. And you're gonna push off. And if you need a what break and get water, go ahead. Pause and resume. Push off. I thought you worked pushing down and getting down to the floor. Now you have to do the opposite, so push up your leg and let your body roll with it. So if I keep my body stiff as I do this, it's gonna hurt my joints. So I let my body roll with it. It goes a flow. So someone in some videos before, many videos actually, but um, anyway, one that I just read today was asking, how do you get inspired? It's what's one by the same video. Um, how do you get inspired to do all this? Well, first of all, well, there's many things. I don't know which one to count first. Um, I just go with the flow with what my body wants to do. Um, and I do have extensive training. To some people, it will be very basic because I was never like a super high elite, but I'm a well-rounded person as far as sports. Um, and lots of things. So as a result, I just use all of that in my life experience to I swing the arms at the side. I'm gonna go into, now this time I'm gonna go in second position as opposed to earlier we were more with your feet parallel, which is more like a sixth position we call in um, jazz or modern jazz. Now we're gonna go in second position. And we're gonna go through this movement side to side, okay? So let's see, what was I doing? And then we're gonna do a cheat, we're gonna work our tricep as we flex through the feet and thumbs pointing forward. So your arms stay out to the side, and as you push up the floor flexing, you bring your chin down. So we go just a slide down, it's not here, it's just here. So you can feel those back and neck muscles um, engaging, you can feel them. So bend here, up, push up, bend. So bend your arms, bend your knees, push up, push up. And it's not like blocking the knees when you're pushing up. You focus into the heel flexing, okay? and pull those arms back. So you little pinky, pull it up toward the ceiling, keeping that neck going down. And as you push up, breathe out. that slowly and then up so it's like this as you go slow you can feel your glute uh, engaging and tightening and you get even bigger working on your balance and down and up and down so make sure you have your ground so if you feel your foot you don't Land properly, rear just don't rush through it. Whether I'm going fast or slow, go with whatever you need at your speed. If you want to go faster, go faster. But if you want to go slower, don't hesitate. So, my, my landing leg, this one right now, is not locked. It's my knee is still slightly bent, if you can see. See, it's slightly bent. I straighten the other one because it's a uh, free weight, it's of weight, non-weight bearing. But the one that's weight bearing, here the slight bend, loose knee, right? We call it loose knee. So I'm gonna go back here. So that's, there we go, nice and slow. And pulls through that heel of the leg that's up, of uh, non-weight bearing, and pull your arms back, thumbs forward, Pull the belly in slightly. So your shoulders now are gonna be here, that's okay. You don't wanna be all here, then it's gonna catch too much in here. Let the body go with it. We don't wanna be here either, right? 
hand, thumbs forward, chin slightly down, and get that chin in a neutral way, not excessively. And so you're working your bicep as you do this, tricep as you do this. Okay, so let's see. I'm not sure where my camera stopped here. I'm just gonna do this one more time so you get the gist of it, because it just turned off. So here, as I was saying, as you go on one leg, this bottom, uh, the weight-bearing leg is slightly bent. Not much, just a bit. We did enough of much, as much as you could kind of thing earlier. So you see, this is I had all extended as much as I can. This is loose, so it's bent. It looks straight almost, but my leg can go further. Uh, not excessively, I don't have super hyper extended joints, but my knee can go further because of practicing with ballet and stuff. And now, slow, straighten the top leg here, that's a non weight bearing, and flex your foot, trying to get your heel to bend your foot straight. So, you're a little pinky here, so your foot is not here, your foot is this way pointing so that allows you your hip to be pointing forward so your hip is not pointing sideways to the outside okay I like to call these the headlights like in a car is our, our headlights we want to point them forward it's like a car you want your headlights to point where you're driving toward so that you see what you're doing all right now let's go in second position if you're more comfortable this way by all means go ahead stay in the first position Gonna do a bit of second position here. Now go up. If you can go right off the bat here on your toes, go ahead. If you want to stay flat on your feet, then do. And then here, actually pull that belly in, and you can pull back eventually once your arms are up. Like it's just in the, in the upper. It's not in here. Where I'm arching here right now and letting go here. Still pulling my belly in. Arms up, and I'm gonna. Stretch my spine and my head like if I have a string pulling me up toward the ceiling through, um, you know, the, the top of my head. And look up at the ceiling. So you're not looking straight up at the ceiling, it's far back, wherever the, as far as you can to still get that movement pulling in. And then stretching your body up. Then once you're really there, you can add a little bit up here, but if you have back issue, don't even bother. And then down. So we're going to do this a few times, all the way up. Look up at the ceiling, keep that chin slightly down so that it engages those back muscles and back down. Next, we're going to go down from up. I'm going to go in first position. So you can have your arms straight, you don't have to be like this one, all you know, gracious and whatnot, <laughs> ballet mode. You can have your arms straight, it's not a big deal. And then from here, you go straight down. toes and down and demi plie with your side bend your knees all the way down chin down arms in front of you and come back up and bring your arms back to second position good and arms up shoulders down go up on your toes pull your belly in Head, chin, chin tuck in and neck stretch to look up at the ceiling where you're the wall meets the ceiling, the far distance. And back down. And then plie, down to the floor. Again, shoulders down, arms in front of you. Here, here is fine. Go back up from here. And there. So this is a little bit of a different version if you're more, you're more used to like a yoga kind of move definitely can do it I add a little bit of a arm movement from my ballet background um, and I hope you find some value and enjoy it already thank you so much for watching wherever you are out there good afternoon good morning good evening bonjour bonne soirée bon après midi thank you so much take care namaste you did amazing.